wanted to show you how you can make the most of your piece of paper in PrintMate because we don't ever want to waste paper. I know that's going to be something that's very important. So I just wanted to go over how we could do this. So this is my butterfly. I'm going to assume that this is a magnet. Um, just to kind of show you, you can adjust size. So if something comes in from a program and it's too big, you can adjust it. If for any, any reason you ever want to change, maybe like increase the width just slightly without changing the height, you can unlock this and then one number would change without the other. Um, but in this case, it is um, actually an enlarged me, so let me reduce again. It took it back to the regular size. So that is my file, I'm ready to go. Um, you could put multiples of this on the page by hitting repeat. Now, if you wanted to do different files, you can hit add and do it that way as well. And then if I were to hit add and add a different butterfly, now these are going to come in a little large because I don't have them sized specifically for this. But what I can do is I'm just going to go down to my other file, which is here. I'm going to click the little down arrow so I can see its options. I'm going to take it down to the same size. And now it should go on my page and I can increase the number um, that I want for them as well. Now, one thing you are noticing is you can either space individually, meaning I'm only adding space between these images, or I could do spacing for all. Now, these are grayed out because this is checked. If I were to check this, now it is going to put the same spacing on all of the items. Normally, you would need the same spacing, but maybe you're doing different projects. Um, on the same page. Now I'm going to add, uh, yeah, I think that should work and not be too much. You will notice that we can rotate an image as well. So if I think everything will fit better on the page, if this butterfly is rotated, I could change that and rotate it. And that's going to help me get the best fit and get as many items as possible on the one page. Now that did not help me. I'm going to go back to zero and get them all there. And then I would be able to do my settings and hit print. All right. So thank you for tuning in today. Have a great day and uh, tune in for more videos. Bye-bye.